fashion, fads, family, and more. You know her from the hit TV show, Hardcore Pawn. Now, welcome, Ashley Gold. much for joining me today. I have the one, the only, Dan Howell and Phil Lester joining me today. These stars of the YouTube channels, the vloggers, the entertainers, the roommates in London. Thanks so much for joining me today. Guys, welcome hey, to thank America. You for you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I was just saying I've already eaten my weight in pancakes and I'm feeling very happy about it. That is the first thing Phil does when he crosses the Atlantic. He just orders room service waffles and pancakes. Yeah. Waffles and pancakes. What, do you guys not have that over there? It, it's super special over here. It's, it's a whole different beast, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Our pancakes are really thin in England. Do it, you guys... It's not the same as American pancakes. No? Do you guys put, like, syrup all over them, too? Uh, we have lemon and sugar, and they're really thin like crepes in England. We don't have the fat pancakes here. So when Phil comes over to America, he has all the syrup you can imagine. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's jump right into this. Tell me about this tour. Well, we are YouTubers. You know, you might have heard your teenager talk about this and be like, what that's about. You know, it's young people making videos on the Internet. And usually people make these videos in their bedroom and put them on the internet. But quite weirdly, we're now coming out into the real world and we've made a live stage show that's coming across America this summer, which is very exciting. Yes. Yeah, so the tour is This Is The Amazing Tour Is Not On Fire. So how did you even come up with that <laughs> <No>. name? <laughs> because well, like... YouTube username. Yeah. Our YouTube usernames are Amazing Phil and Dan is Not On Fire, which uh -huh. are just the names we chose when we first made our YouTube account. You know, everyone has those, like, awkward email addresses you had in the 90s, like cutekitten22 at yahoo.com. Well, those are our embarrassing email names, except those are now our brands that we have to live with. <laughs> Can you imagine? Right. So when I was on AOL, like, back in the day when you did dial-up, it was Ashley and, like, all these numbers that went along with it. Like, who has all these numbers, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, you know, I love watching yeah. your YouTube, and I was telling my kids, I'm like, oh, my God, you guys, guess who I'm interviewing tomorrow? And they're like, who? And I told them, they're like, oh, my God, Mom, you have no idea how many <laughs> followers they have. And they start pulling up all your videos, your YouTube channels. And I'm like, you guys. I watch them too. And I start watching the pillow one. And when you guys, you know, interviewed this one and that one, I'm like, you guys, I watch them too. So what is the most, <laughs> oh, wait, I have to ask you, okay? Like, what is it like yeah. meeting all your fans? Like, when I go meet all my fans, I love it. So when you come to America, what do you love most about meeting your fans in person here? I think it's just great to see them in real life because on YouTube, you just see comments under a video. Uh -huh. uh, so when you see them excited to see you, and especially when we're doing the tour and they're all in the audience, it's just such a great feeling to see them enjoying what we're doing in real life as well. Yeah, because it's completely different. You know, when we make a video, we just see all these comments saying, hey, this made me laugh. I liked it. And we just have to kind of go. Well, you know, they, they told me that they liked it in the comment, but that's nothing compared to when we're on stage and we actually see real people laughing and having a good time. Yeah. I mean, you guys just sit in front of the camera and you pull all these viewers. It's, I have to say, it's crazy. <laughs> you know, it's yeah, crazy. It's, it's we never expected it to happen because I, I was making videos so long ago and I only had about 10 subscribers for about a year and now it's just all exploded. And I think, I think a lot of it comes down to the fact that we're just normal, relatable, clumsy people, you know? So what makes you so relatable to each person that watches you? Like, what is it? Okay, Dan, I'll ask you first. What is so relatable to you that people, like, that you suck everybody in? What's so relatable to you? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the thing is about YouTube is that people, they don't want the kind of celebrities that look all beautiful and perfect. They just want everyday relatable people. And when it comes to me, like, I'm really socially awkward. I'm the kind of person that, like, I trip over at a party and, like, knock a drink over somebody. I'm really clumsy. I would say, like, someone says, enjoy the movie. I'd say you too to the person behind the desk at the cinema. I'm like, just so, okay, so awkward. It's so like if, Right. So, like, you're the same as me. So if I was to board an airplane, they're like, have a safe trip. I'm like, you too. And they're not even going you on the too. plane with me. <laughs> right? And you're like, oh, my God, crap. Yeah. What did I just say? They're not even going on the airplane. 
Right. But that's the thing about YouTube. You know, you admit all of these flaws and that just makes you more relatable in a good way. You know, yeah. people don't want you to, you know, pretend that you're cool. They want you to say, hey, look, this is all the things that are wrong with me. You can feel free to laugh at them and feel better about yourself. And that's quite good, we think. Okay. So then, Phil, what makes you so relatable to everybody? Um, I think, again, is I would leave all of the embarrassing things in the video rather than cutting them out. So say, say while we're rehearsing the show and I fall off the stage, I would just leave that in the video. Uh, and I think it's more like you're hanging out with a friend that might be a bit goofy or a bit weird sometimes, but that's okay. Yeah, that's why people like it. How did you guys meet? Through the internet, of course. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Would you, you have guys... it any other way? All of my friends are from the internet. I don't think I've, I've got many friends that aren't Do from we the even internet. know anybody through the internet no, these days? I don't think so. Where do people meet real friends anymore? <laughs> Coffee shops? I don't even know. Everyone I know, I know through Twitter. Yeah, because we're starting the show at a YouTube convention called Playlist Live, which is today. And loads of people are meeting other people from the internet who do all the similar things. And we've made so many friends here as well. That's cool. Yeah. Like that's how you guys started off your brand. And, you know, I want everybody to make sure that if, okay, so you're starting your, tell everybody where you're starting your tour, when it ends, where they can come and see you, everything about you guys. Yeah, well, it's pretty crazy. This tour that we're going on is in 43 different cities across the U.S., which is just crazy. And it starts off in Florida. We're going to Orlando, Jacksonville, Fort Lauderdale, Clearwater. And then we're going all across the whole of America, you know, Chicago, Toronto, L.A. on the West Coast. It's all over. And if you go to danandphiltour.com, as a complete list of all the places we're going. So if you've got a young team that's saying, hey, Dan and Phil are coming on tour, and you're like, what? Who are those guys? what are they on about <laughs> then you can go check it out all right and you guys can also follow them on twitter dan is not on fire and amazing phil you guys if you're in these cities anybody listening go check them out on tour they are hilarious um i mean i'm, I'm <laughs> having a blast you. talking to you guys so thank you guys so much for joining me today on pawn chick radio their first USA tour with YouTube, the stars, Dan is not on fire, and the amazing Phil, the world of Dan and Phil. This amazing tour. Guys, where you're not coming to Detroit though. Why aren't you coming to Detroit? You're coming, huh? We are coming to Detroit. No, not Detroit. You're coming like away from Detroit. We're coming to the Fox Theater in Detroit on the 10th of May. So that, that's the place for your local one. Yeah. I don't see it. I see you in no, I don't see it on the calendar. No? I don't see it on my calendar. I see Kalamazoo. Did you just we add are coming it? To are Detroit. you surprising me? Yeah, we, yeah well, a, lo a load of the ones sold out really quickly, which is crazy. But one of the ones that we're doing on the 10th of May, we are coming to Detroit, Michigan at the Fox Theater. So we'll expect to see you in the front row. <laughs> Oh my God, for real? Wait, I do not see it on my calendar. Do you know that this was sent to me and I only see it for Kalamazoo? Wait, stop right now. I am coming. Forget your calendar. We'll Wait a second a here. One. Stop it right now. May 10th, can I really be in the front row? Yeah, I think so. I mean, like, Wait, Phil what is do you very mean you clumsy think so? and he just are you gonna into the front row. Are you you gonna know when you go to SeaWorld, there's like the Shamu splash zone? Yeah. That's can like Phil, but falling off the stage. Wait, am I, are you going to fall and I'm going to have to catch you? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. All right, guys. So May 10th, anybody in Detroit, I really thought you were coming to Kalamazoo. All right, I'm coming May 10th, Fox Theater. I'm really excited. I'm going to go see you guys. Um, anybody else, Amazing. make sure, tell everybody where they can buy the tickets. DanandPhilTour.com has a list of all the cities we're visiting in the U.S. Including Thank you. Detroit. Including Detroit. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it. All right, I'm sorry, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for listening to Pawn Chick Radio. I love connecting with you guys on social media. So check out all the links to all my social media channels here at PawnChickRadio.com. And until next time, this is Ashley Gold. Spread the word about Pawn Chick Radio by giving us a good review on iTunes. Thanks, everyone. 